Notion as a content management system in your next JS14 app. Sounds impressive? Let's have a look at the result of today's coding. It is a next JS14 app that fetches data from the Notion template and displays it while keeping the syntax and styles. The code is attached in the GitHub repo, a link is below in the description. The idea of using the Notion as a CMS sounds crazy, but it is easier to do than you probably think. Lastly, I developed it even more, making my own product, Notion Flow, which can fetch advanced data from Notion and create a landing page or even app in Next.js 14. You can find the link in the description. Let's go back to the tutorial. If you haven't started the Next.js app, use the displayed command in the terminal. Let's leave coding and jump into Notion, create a new page that will be used as content, and inside add some data. I have attached the Notion template in the description so that you can just duplicate it. To make the template visible for HTTP calls, we need to publish it with a share button at the top. Then go to the Publish tab and the page is live. Go back to Share and copy the link. In our Next.js 14 app, go to the page you want to use with Notion. In this case, we will open a home location and then paste the link as a comment. We have to create a root page ID variable. To have it done, cut string after dash and before quotation mark, this is the root page ID. To continue the backend setup, install the needed packages, mainly the React Notion X and Notion client. Create a notion.dies file in the project directory, import Notion API from Notion client and export variable Notion. This part of the code creates a new instance of the Notion API class. It means that the script is initializing a connection to interact with Notion services. Then, let's create an asynchronous function to get data on the page, TSX, entire page. TSX file should look like the one presented. We can check returned data with the console log and it will show multiple blocks. You can think that styling this will be a headache but that is why we installed the React Notion X package. To use that, let's create the Notion page component, which will display styled fetch data. Let's place it in the components folder with the index.ts file, which will export it. Let's name the file renderer and import needed dependencies, mainly the React Notion X package. Then we will use dynamic imports provided in the repo docs so that we can pass them to the Notion Renderer component. Let's add also proper typing for props. In Notion Renderer, we can add a class name. In this example, I named it Notion Double Underscore Container. It allows us to customize stylings through global CSS file. In this example, I removed the default header. Finally, we can check the results by running the app. Our implementation fetched provided content but has not applied stylings. It is because we need to provide custom CSS files in the imports in the renderer file. Now, app looks legit. As developers hate light mode, we can change this by modifying prop dark mode to true. The current implementation also allows adding other elements in the template and displaying it in next app. Before finishing, remember that there are other ways to implement the notion in the app this is probably the easiest one with optimal results. If you are interested in being up to date with modern tech, subscribe to Modern Dev's newsletter. Link in the description. See you next time.